Witam bardzo serdecznie w kolejnej części zagramy w filary ziemi Księga druga, siejąc wiatr Jesteśmy teraz w rozdziale 11, także możemy zaczynać naszą przygodę Odczukaj Mac, by odebrać swoje pieniądze Dobra, za chwilę Sir Kolor Kociogęby prosił o pieniądze, tylko gdzie on się podziewa? Potenci Wszyscy czekają, by zobaczyć się z hrabią Aha, tu jest ta kolejka, tak? Hmm. Miał być znowu zrobiony stream z tej gry, ale kurczę, że mnie choróbsko trzyma i nie chciałbym się zacząć dusić podczas streamu, bo to raczej nie byłoby ciekawe. To jest... We stand like pillars of salt, but I'm sure the Earl will accept petitioners soon. I hope it's before the workers at Kingsbridge leave the construction site because I cannot pay them. Uh, może raczej nie będę tak stał. If they hadn't replaced father, I could have helped them. And our Earl will be the new apostle. Good day, Sheriff. Will these people have to wait much longer? If you have a complaint, talk to the Earl. I don't think he even recognizes me anymore. Pamiętam go. Był lojalnym sługą mego ojca. Shouldn't you be by the Earl's side to be his advisor? <laughs> Our Earl is no use for me today, but I think you'd be to his liking. Go ahead and wait for your turn. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Sheriff. Speak to the Earl. Dobra. I cannot help them. To żeśmy pogadali. Filipie. Patience. Cie, cierpliwość to cnota. Dobra, ja bym może raczej sobie, sobie poszedł. Co tu mamy? Opuść rynek. Prorok. Szubienica. Sojsko z tkaninami. A tu jest to Meg. Zaraz do niej pójdziemy. Żebrak. Biedny człowiek. Podobno powieszono tu ojca Jacka. Czy to prawda? They say that Jack's father was a thief and hanged in Shiring. If that's true, then he must have died right here. The end is upon us, but our Earl will lead us to salvation. Is that so? A hard hand for hard times. It will all make sense. You will see. Wszyscy go ignorują, nawet szeryf. Ciekawe dlaczego wszyscy go ignorują. No, he's talked himself into a rage. No, I better attend to my business. No i to jest właśnie bardzo dobra decyzja. Idziemy do Meg. You're trying to rip me off. Good to see you, Meg. I'm here to collect the money we've made so far. Um, excuse me. We were in the middle of something. What's the problem? Even you merchants have become thieves. What a rotten place this has become. He ordered the cartload of wool weeks ago, but now he refuses to pay the price we'd agreed upon. Bądź sarkastyczna, bądź dyplomatyczna. Sarkastyczna. If we were to give the wool away at your suggested price, we wouldn't be doing any business next year. Is that supposed to be a threat? No, it would ruin us, is what I mean. Besides, the other merchants aren't cheaper. Then you're all in league together. Did you use a tally to record the price? But, uh, are you with the sheriff? Just who are you, woman? I am the owner of this business. Oh. Here's our half Now, would you kindly hand me your part of the tally? Oskarżkięta, określ problem, ustal nową cenę. Hmm, określ problem. There are more notches on our part. Two pieces, two different prices. Granted, adding notches to our part would have been much easier. Aha! Uh -huh. 
You're admitting it. Mm, but the area with missing notches is thinner than the rest. You're right. It looks like something was carved off. Wh what? Are you saying I'm a fraud? Look, times are hard for all of us. I, I won't report you to the sheriff. <laughs> this wool will not make enough cloth for all of my master's servant's clothes. Let alone all the shirts he wants for himself. Whoever pays servants and wants to wear many shirts should be able to pay the price for quality wool like this. Quality? Yes, but it is not high quality. Now that you mention it, I see it. I cannot pay that much money for bad wool like this. No, he's doubting the quality. Fine. Then let me prove the quality of my wool. <coughs> Just you try. Garść wełny, którą sprzedajemy dobra jakość. That's not the price we agreed on. It is what we agreed on. First of us. First you say one thing, and then you say another. Is this how you treat all your customers? Poszukaj kogoś, kto oceni jakość wełny. I'll find an expert and prove it. I'm waiting. Daylight robbery. We agreed on the price. Meg is managing the store for me. Not just gonna you maybe later. Please, Piękny calm down. down. I thought you had more to spare than that. Tu jest klient, tu jest Meg. Stoisko z kandami. O, chodźmy tam. You thought the Earl was bad to show. Taking my business elsewhere. Please, good quality. But I'm not here to buy anything. Outrageous. Let's negotiate. My father caught a cold. No, I'll keep the wool. That's not the price we agreed on. Ceny są wyższe, a transport łatwiejszy. Ale folowanie wełny jest trudne i drogie. Daylight robbery. We agreed on the price. Żebrak, żebrak raczej nam nie pomoże. Fabrics, good fabrics. You're trying to rip me off. Let us work out a compromise. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. The wool is from Kingsbridge. He's already seen it. Aha. Szczęt ojca, zatrzymam go. Not take my business elsewhere. You won't find a better price. <laughs> I'll find an expert and prove it. I'm waiting. No, no, but look, where? Where did you find this expert? Opuść rynek. The fleeces used to be bigger. Tu jest też obra. No to będę musiał opuścić ten rynek, zobaczmy. Kowal. Dziewczynka z mięsem. Flamandscy kupcy. Mnisi. Sprzedawca chleba. Jarmark wełniany przyciąga kupców. Mnisi zazwyczaj pozostają w swoich klasztorach. Chleb wygląda na stary. Wciąż tu jest. Nie się kawał mięsiwa. No chodźmy tutaj. Aren't you tired of Christian art? Their sad faces and dull colors are always giving me a foul mood. Just like this town. I agree. I'd prefer to see lush paintings of the fine things in life. Excuse me, would you care to give me your opinion on the quality of this wool? Of course. Please, show us. Oh, how wonderfully soft. And what thorough scouring. There isn't a hint of dirt or grease. The fibre is exceptionally fine. And the color is even and light. Suitable for high quality garments. 
I'm glad you think so too. Would you be so kind as to confirm this to a customer of mine, should the need arise? Of course. Just send them our way. With all these taxes and the shrinking markets, I wasn't sure whether visiting Shiring would still be worth it. But for that quality of wool, I'll say it is. No i pięknie. Wracam na rynek. Chodź tutaj. Gdzie jest ten cwane... cwaniaczek? First you say one thing, and then you say another. Is this how you treat all your customers? There are Flemish merchants just a few streets away. They were very interested in my wool. And they would be delighted to confirm its quality to you. Anyone can let their friends lie for them. Sprzedaj wodą flamandzkim kupcom, zaproponuj publiczną aukcję. O, to może być ciekawe. Then we'll leave it to the people. We'll sell the wool at the afternoon auctions. That way it fetches a fair price for certain. No, 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 wait. Maybe we can negotiate. My master would not want me to leave here with empty hands. Uparcie przyciśnij go dyplomatycznie. Zaproponuj kompromis. He, co by teraz zrobić? Może go a, dyplomatycznie. Let's find a compromise. You buy the wool at the price we believe we agreed upon. Why would I do that? I will guarantee you first rights to my wool next year. The prices go up when more than one bidder is involved. I know, I know. My master would not be pleased if I returned without wool one day. He's got an awful temper. Fair enough. We have a deal. Dało się. No way, heis, no way, heis. I'll buy your wool at your price. I o to chodziło. Oby wystarczyło, by rozwiązać wszystkie nasze problemy. A pleasure doing business with you. You've learned well. A good merchant always strives for a deal that feels like a victory for both sides. I had a good teacher. One more thing. Could you try to get Ovid's Amores for me when you travel to Winchester? It's a book. Yes, I can ask Brother Theobald. His book collection is more comprehensive than the church would like. <laughs> Then he'll be the right one to ask. Thank you. No problem at all. Żaden problem, no to super. Daj pieniądze Filipowi i Sirko Cię Gębemu. Opuść rynek, idziemy stąd. Gdzie jest Filip? Już się troszeczkę rozejrzałem. Daj mu tyle samo pieniędzy, co Kocie Gębemu. Daj mu... Mniej pieniędzy niż kocie gębemu? Daj mu więcej pieniędzy niż kocie gębemu. Nie, kurczę temu kocie gębemu nie wierzył. Daj mu więcej. I'm astonished that you can still find trade in times like these. I can only repay you with my gratitude for now. And our priory's wool, of course. Repent! It should be enough to keep our workers around until I have solved our problems with Percy Hamley. But Tom said that without stone and timber, we will have to stop construction in a month. You must speak to the Earl. I still have to give Sir Catface his money. But then I'll come and wait with you. From the looks of it, I'll be standing here for quite a while. Pozostała część pieniędzy, ale nie przeznaczona dla mnie. No trudno. Dobra, teraz muszę znaleźć tego kocio gębego. Opuść rynek. 
bewitched by hell's demons. Weź go teraz znajdź. Mnisi, sprzedawca chleba. Brama północna. Kościół świętego Grzegorza. Chodźmy tutaj. Aha, nie, mapa się już nie przesunie. Nie ciekawą mięsiwa. Zobaczmy, co tu się stanie. Oh. Where did you get this? I'm not a thief. A man in the tavern promised me a bread crust if I fetch this from the market for him. I'm just taking a little break. You look hungry. Are you saying I should keep it? Nah. -uh. Thieves get hanged. I'll be good. Oh, of course. Do you have a family that supports you? My auntie sold flowers, but she couldn't afford to pay the taxes. Now I don't know where she is. I'm so hungry. Okay, ona jest głodna, czyli przydałoby się troszeczkę jedzenia. Tu jest kowal, sprzedawca chleba. Chodźmy teraz do kowala. Zobaczmy co u niego jest ciekawego. Would you be free for a sales discussion later today? Ah, Lady Aliena, for you I will always find time. I've heard business is slow. Not for me, it isn't. Plenty of knights need my services. His men have cleaned up well, I'd say. It suits me just fine that the Earl has swept the criminals off the streets. And those complaining about money and fees were never my customers or my friends. The town used to be much livelier. That's because the Earl and his sheriff finally stepped up and got rid of all the thieves and cheats. I hope you're not stretching your wool before it's woven. I would never trick my customers. Good. Then you and me, we both won't get into trouble here in Shiring. Mm, I wouldn't be too sure of that. How much for a chainmail shirt? That's six pounds. Just for the chainmail? Well, I've got to make up for those taxes some way. Sprzedawca chleba. Can I interest you in some horse bread? Is that the only kind you have here? It's the only one that hasn't gone green yet, I think. If you sell green bread, your customers will get sick and you'll get into trouble. What? Uh, are you with the sheriff? No, don't worry. Everyone seems to be afraid of Sheriff Eustace. I always heard he was a fat and lazy man. It's not him. It's the Earl. Killed a good friend for milling without permission yesterday. Buried him under the rubble of his mill. What? Shouldn't you make fresh bread? <laughs> if I could afford it. If you bring grain from outside the town, you must pay taxes nowadays. My friend's mill out there was a blessing. Sometimes he even let me use it for free, which was why they killed him. And I can't afford using the Earl's mills here in town. What is the Earl thinking? Why is he hurting the business in town? I don't know. Better don't start asking questions around here. Excuse me, do you know if something happened in Shiring? I know we suffer because of the war, but the town never used to seem this grim and hopeless. No, oh, we wouldn't know. We are but pilgrims in search of God's miracles, and a saint who will heal my foot. And my eyes. But yes, Shiring seems to hold no miracles these days. We heard the Earl is punishing his people for his own entertainment. I heard so too. How is your pilgrimage going? Always moving forwards and sometimes backwards because of my foot. Good luck with your pilgrimage. God bless you, good woman. Maybe I should start painting. What would your first masterpiece be? Hmm, I'm thinking fruits and decorative objects arranged on a luxurious tablecloth. At least you could take your time with that. Fruit doesn't rot that quickly. Maybe I could sell my paintings at markets. <laughs> you haven't painted your first one yet, and you're already thinking about selling it.
ulica Kościół Świętego Grzegorza. Tu miała być świątynia, świątynia nadziei. Katedra Toma miała przyćmić tę świątynię. Tu już byłem, brama wschodnia. Kamienna konstrukcja w oddali. Co tu jest? Opuść Shrink. Ulica. Tu jeszcze coś jest. Rynek, rynek, zaułek. Co jest w zaułku? Aha, fajnie. Ścieżka. Droga. Zobaczmy tą drogę, gdzie prowadzi. I don't have any business in there now. Brawa wschodnia, a tutaj? To zamek biskupa. Filip opowiedział mi o jego planach. Opuść shrink. Może tam pójdziemy zobaczyć. The remains of Waylaren's castle. Kamienna konstrukcja no w oddali. Nie no need to go there. Przedmioty mapa. To nie. Brama północna. Prowadzi do Kingsbridge. Prowadzi do Winchesteru. Pałac biskupa. Jack z pewnością chciałby mu się przyjrzeć z bliska. The Bishop's Palace. Jest to wszystko? I have no business there now. Dobra, możemy, może chodźmy na ten rynek. Może Filip mi coś pomoże. Have you seen the cat face? The wilting of Shiring is an. I have not, I'm afraid. No to spoko. Will be the new apostle to lead us to salvation when the end comes. That's not him. Tonyon. Może żebra mi pomoże. That's not him either. But we. He doesn't seem to be here. We must prepare ourselves. Pleasure doing business. Likewise, remember to come to the next. I hope it's not going to be here in Shiring. You'd be smart to sell somewhere else. Pleasure doing business. Like, remember. I hope. Come on. That's not I him. More to spare than that. And a pig ate half of my crops. You thought the Earl was bad before. Opuść Shrink. No, I'm not leaving without Philip. Aha, nie odejdę bez Filipa. No to jakby bez Filipa nie odejdziesz. Ale gdzie ten skubaniec się podział? Sprzedawca, mnisi, flamency kupcy, kowal. Ulica. Co mi z tej ulicy? Tu jest zaułek, tu jest dzielnica 
tavern. O! Może tu się znajdzie. Pijak. Jeszcze się okaże, że ten kociek by wszystkie pieniądze przepija. No right thoughts enliven me while my stomach's hollow. You hear? <laughs> Fill us up. But you haven't had a right thought all day. <laughs> Maybe I'll be the next Earl then. <laughs> oh, that's awful. How's business? Slow. Well, at least you still have your regulars. Even in bad times, people drink. The Earl of Shire has imposed new laws and taxes, and it makes times very bad for us. What's your secret to success? You know, running a tavern. People will give their last shirt for pleasant distractions. Especially when they have a lot they want to be distracted from. Would you like to order? Thank you, but I'm just here to see Sir Catface and his men before the battle. Would you like to order? Thank you. Uh, have you seen a group of knights led by a man named Sir Catface? Must be those fellows over there. There they are. Dobra, zobaczmy ich. Jest kociokęby. Tu jest. Pije i przechwala się. Zagrzewa się przed bitwą. Jest w wieku Richarda. Alonso. Niektórzy porównują jego szerbierkę z tańcem. Idziemy do niego. Today we ride for Lincoln. The drinks are on me. Taverner, another round for the whole place. Ah, <laughs> you're the best, Gilbert. It's Sir Catface. Nonsense, we're all brothers, right? <laughs> Indeed we are. Wonderful, brothers in arms we are. And here I thought you needed my money for new armor. Oh, I do. What's a knight without a mighty sword? I saw Alonso's when he was bathing in a river. Dios mío. All jokes aside, with men at arms so well equipped, how can I face King Stephen with anything less? And inferior armor may cost him his life. <laughs> Only the best for the best. Ile pieniędzy potrzebujesz? Mógłbyś wydawać moje pieniądze odpowiedzialnie? Could you be more responsible with my money? Every coin is spent to fulfill your father's wish. What's more responsible than that? Do you want William Hamley to become Earl of Shiring or your son? Oh, what kind of question is that? If we're lucky, then he will never return from the Holy Land. He already did. What? It had been a short battle. Robert of Gloucester's men had lost. At first, I wasn't sure who that knight was. He wore the cross. He must be a crusader, I thought. No. Don't do it. Please. Have mercy. My God, please. Shh. Don't. Then I heard our king calling out his name. William Hamley, join me. We ride. I didn't want to upset you. You what? We owe it to everyone to put this monster down. Not only to your father, 
William Hamley is a madman. Mind your tongue. You speak of the son of the Earl of Shiring. I pledge my loyalty to Bartholomew and his family, and there it shall remain. Percy Hamley has no right calling himself Earl. The son of Lady Aliena will be the heir to Shiring. Bartholomew went against our king and lost his title and his land. It's not wise to place your sword to a dead traitor. What did you just say? Not easy. You backstabbing turncoat. Calm down. Do you want to slaughter each other and help the enemy? <laughs> Accusing me of treason. You're most loyal man at arms. It's me or the Hamleys. Pick a goddamn side. Może uda mi się ich pogodzić. Zobaczymy. You disparage me for stating the truth. I've always been your most loyal man at arms. Have I not? Your actions may be, but your words tell a different story. I'm sorry. You see, there's nothing to it. I said nothing wrong. I'm just trying to keep you grounded. You will have to How dare you defend that backstabber Percy Hamley and his blonde bastard of a son? Percy Hamley's title is a fact, not an opinion. It I is can't not, talk sense into him. and he does not deserve it. I've collected our earnings, Sir Catface. Ah, finally someone I can rely on. I can't believe this. Spróbuj ich pogodzić, po prostu daj mu pieniądze. Spróbuj ich pogodzić. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go into war arguing like this. We're gonna go either way. This is not about who this is what. The king appointed him. You should come to terms with that fact. I've collected our earnings, Sir Catface. Ah, finally someone I can rely on. <sighs> can't believe this. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go into war arguing like this. We're gonna go either way. To nie ważne i tak wyruszymy. Dobra. Może gdy poszedł kupić coś do picia. Ah, they're both very proud. Give them a few days, they'll get tired. They don't have that long. Oh no. I'd rather talk to my horse than listen to your insults. Huh, very much here. Yeah. Would you like to order? Thank you, but I'm just here to see Sir Catface and his men before the battle. Huh, very much here. Huh. Huh. Teraz nie wiem, schody, zobaczmy. Do you want to say something? Proponuję no, pokój dla gości i innych luksusów. Ciekawe, ile gości na to stać. No nie ma nic innego. Hmm, a może gdybym mu dał pieniądze, to by się pogodzili. Zobaczmy. I've collected our earnings, Sir Catface. Ah, finally someone I can rely on. I can't believe this. I don't have time to settle your fights for you. You're two adult men. Act like it. It's just a little rough housing. Don't worry about it. Here. Where's the rest? Kingsbridge needs it as well. The people who took me in. You're making me cut corners. Yes, I am. What is all this good for? Why are you putting yourself in danger? For you. It was your father's wish that you take back the earldom from Percy Hamley. I see. I wish you the best of luck. I'll be at the marketplace with Philip. 
And make more money, I reckon. Nepi kolego. Nepi. And again, you think money solves everything. Well, sure sort. keeps you around. There is nothing of interest. But I'm not the same the night. I don't have to put up with this. Dobra, to idziemy stąd. Oh, please don't keep on happening. Like you're making it worse. You know that, Simon. One Beczki? moment he trusts us blindly, and the next he throws us out. The taverner makes money with each tenkiti. I don't want to doubt you, lad. You're just giving me plenty reason to. Dobra, wyjście z taverny. Idziemy teraz na rynek do tego Filipa. Zobaczymy. Rynek. Jak tam, Filip? Have you finished your business? Tak. Yes. Glad to hear it. Philip, I now understand why our market at Kingsbridge has had more visitors lately. Shiring isn't what it used to be. Steep taxes and strict laws have taken their toll on the town. Is that so? These merchants would give anything to do their business at another fleece fair, but there's none nearby. They need a place with fair taxes, one that can put those taxes to good use. Are you thinking of a fleece fair in Kingsbridge? Call in the monk and the woman he's with. You, impatient monk. It's your turn. The girl too. Me? What? Did you want me to come with you? No. We're not first in line, are we? Well, lucky you then. Get moving. Check <coughs> of. Philip of Gwyneth, prior of Kingsbridge. The Earl of Shiring. Thank you for hearing me, old Percy. Please allow me to introduce my friend, Aliena of Kingsbridge. I knew it was you. <gasps> oh, it doesn't sound like you missed me. I demand to talk to the Earl of Shiring. He has broken his word. You are talking to the Earl of Shiring. Bishop Whaler. The enemies of this earldom have taken Percy Hamley from our midst. Mother! Do you consider yourself a friend of the earldom of Shiring, Philip? Friend? That damned monk is drinking the blood of my earldom! It is not for us to damn them, Lord William. But judge them we must. What you are doing to the people of Shiring is shameful. Your father would have done well to teach you respect. The monk's a thief and so are you. And I don't take as kindly to thieves as my father did. Shiring will change. What crimes did we commit then? The king has never licensed a market in Kingsbridge. Your market is illegal, Philip. You are stealing my taxes by allowing my people to trade in your sorry priory, and you disrespect my authority! Is that true, Philip? I... I will talk to the king about this. You and your friends have always played by your own rules. But not anymore. Fracture for fracture? Eye for eye? Tooth for tooth? The days of Kingsbridge Cathedral are over. Now leave. The next time I will show no mercy. Ale się porobiło, no. Flery ziemi siejąc wietr, rozdział 11, nowy hrabia. Podjęte decyzje, Aliena zażegnała konflikt z klientem dzięki kompromisowi. Aliena wykazała się wyjątkowymi zdolnościami handlowymi. 
Ali nadała Filipowi więcej pieniędzy niż Sir Kociągiem Bemu. Ali nie, nie zrobiła nic, by zakończyć spór między Sir Kociągiem... Aha, jednak nie pomogło to nic, że daje mu pieniądze. A. Ale ona pomogła Filipowi we wcześniejszym opłaceniu robotników. Valeran i nowy hrabia William ogłosili targ Filipa nielegalnym. Okej, okay, no i to będzie za, na tyle w tym odcinku. Pamiętajcie, żeby zostawić po sobie kciuka, za jakiś komentarz. Ja już dziękuję i zapraszam na rozdział 12. Do usłyszenia. Bye.